Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to be providing an introduction to Evernote, a note-taking app and program that has been around for a few years now but I haven't really gotten into it until the last few weeks, last month or so here, and now I'm hooked. It's a great utility. It's available as a cloud-based version, which is going to be the one I'm going to be presenting today in this tutorial. It's also available as an app for iOS, an app for Android, a program for your Windows computer, and a program for your Mac computer. And I'm definitely going to be showing the iOS version here in the next couple weeks on my AnsonAlex.com YouTube channel as well, and probably the Windows version and the Mac version. But in this one, we're gonna talk about the cloud-based version. So here I am at Evernote.com, and this is where you can sign up for an Evernote account. You can get some information on what Evernote is, but it's really an advanced note-taking utility where you can add reminders, you can add bulleted lists, you can separate your notes into notebooks, you can use rich formatting in your text. And we're gonna take a look at all of that today. So on the Evernote.com website, you can go ahead and sign up. It's a free account to start if you really start using Evernote there are a few other features that you can gain by subscribing to a premium account but uh, right off the bat Evernote's free account is great it allows for a ton of functionality so go ahead and get signed up and then when you're ready we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start the tutorial so I just moved over here to my Evernote tab where I have a sample account open up and I think at first Evernote can be a little bit intimidating just because there's a lot of information in the user interface so I kind of like to start just by creating notes and I want to just show you that your main navigation bars are really in two places. There's one across the top here, and we're gonna see as we work with notes, uh, there's gonna be a lot of formatting options and stuff like that that come up on the top bar here. We have access to all of our account information over here on the right, so we could go into our account settings, we could go to the help section, we can log out, all that sort of stuff. And then down over here on the left is where all of your notes are going to be kept. So you can see that there's a section for shortcuts up here. We'll look at that in a little bit. That's where we could add quick links to certain notes or notebooks so we can access them easily. But down here on the bottom, you've got this section called notebooks. And notice that you can show and display each of these sections just by clicking on the little arrows to the left. And in the notebooks section, you're going to have an area that says all notes, and then another area that says Ants and Alex 2014's notebook or whatever your username is, notebook. And that's your default notebook and then you're going to have a trash. Now I've also gone in and I've created a, another notebook and a stack, which is a group of notebooks, which we'll take a look at here in a little bit. Uh, but you should just have these three things, all notes, your default notebook, and trash. And then down here you've got a section for tags, which we'll talk about in a little bit. So to just get started and jump right in with Evernote, don't worry about the links over here on the left right now. We're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna jump up here to the top and we're gonna create a new note. So when I do that, you'll notice that in this all notes section over here, I now have a note that's called untitled, and to the right is where my note is. So the first thing you wanna do when you create a new note, just like if you watched my Google Drive video series, the first thing you wanna do when you create a document in Google Drive is you wanna give it a title. So right here where it says untitled, we're just gonna click in here, and we'll go ahead and we'll create a new project requirements list. So we're gonna be creating a new project, let's say, and we want a list of all the requirements and just things we need to think about while we're creating that project. So you'll notice once I updated that name, it's updated over here on the left, and when I click down in the body of the note, I get this toolbar across the top where I can add a whole bunch of formatting options. I can make bold text, italics, underline, I can change my margins, I can do bulleted lists, we can make checklists, so there's a ton of features here in Evernote. Before using Evernote, I was using the Apple Notes app, which is great for recording um, information really quick and just getting it jotted down, but it doesn't allow you to customize your notes, put in links and photos and voice recordings here in Evernote, so there's just so much you can do. So let's say that we need a proposal for this project. Now, a proposal is an actionable item, so I'm gonna actually put proposal in here with a checkbox. If we click this checkbox, symbol up here at the top, it inserts a to-do, and then we can just call it proposal. So now once that proposal is complete, we could go ahead and we could check it off on our list. If it's not complete, we can keep it unchecked. So uh, this is also good. You'll notice I have a list in here. It's a grocery list that I made as an example. You'll see that I have these check boxes in here for multiple items. So once I purchase those items, and go ahead and check them off. Now, I didn't forgot to mention this in the beginning. I mentioned that Evernote is available for all your different devices and computers, but I didn't mention that it syncs across all these different devices. So I'm on a computer right now, and I can go ahead and I can make this grocery list, but then I could go ahead and pull out my iPhone 
go into my Evernote app and I would have this exact same grocery list in my app on my iPhone. So I could go to the grocery store and I could look at it while I'm shopping. So that is really powerful with Evernote. It's not specific to Mac, it's not specific to Windows, iOS, Android, all these systems and all of your data sync. So you've got all your information no matter where you go. Let's go ahead and go back to our new project requirements list here. We've got a proposal in here. Now I also want to let you know, since we're talking about actionable items in this list, sometimes there might be a due date. Uh, so if we have some items, now this isn't a project management tool, it's a note taking tool, but it does have some advanced features. So let's say this proposal, we know that needs to be done pretty soon. We can go up here to the top to this little alarm clock symbol and we could set a reminder for this note. <clears throat> and you'll notice that it asks us, do we want to receive an email on the day that the notes are due? And we can go ahead and say yes. We want to receive that email. That is only set one time. So from now on, whenever you create reminders, it will automatically send you an email when that reminder is due. And we can go up here to edit the reminder because it didn't give us the option to give a due date. So we're going to go ahead and clear this and then we'll just create a new one here. Um, because that was the first time we clicked reminder, it asked us that question and it didn't really give us the option to add a date. So let's go ahead and add a date. We'll say that it's due tomorrow. So now you can see there's the due date, November 1st, 2013. Uh, I will get an email the day before that's due. So I'd get an email today to remind me to go ahead and do that. I'm going to click back here in the notes. I also want to show you, you can make lists. So if we wanted to do a numbered list for our project requirements, we could say these are the materials needed. We need a license. I don't even know what the project is at this point. It could be selling something. We need employees. I guess that's not really a material, but that could be human capital. So we can say materials or capital needed. And maybe it needs $10,000 startup money, whatever. Uh, you can see we could create a list in here and you can put these all in the same notes. You can have your check boxes, you can have lists. Uh, again, we could be coloring our information here. So it's really, really valuable in terms of what you can do here in Evernote. Another thing that you can do is you can add images. So I could go ahead and I could go up here to the attach a file. Uh, it looks like a paper clip, the link icon. I could click that and I could go ahead and choose a file on my computer. Let's see, I believe I had an image of Evernote in here. I'll go ahead and click open. And I can go ahead and hit attach. And now that image is in my notes here. If you use the mobile app, which again, I'm going to do a tutorial on that here within the next couple weeks, you can actually upload images right from your camera roll. You can take images within Evernote. You can click the camera button and take an image while you're using Evernote. So it's really, really powerful. Um, at the si same time, if we were to just put a link in here, I'm just gonna go up here and I'm gonna put an HTTP AnsonAlex.com. You'll notice that it comes out as a clickable link, so we could click right to the website by clicking on the link. Um, so it's just so much you can do in your notes. It's really, really cool here in Evernote. Um, so I think most of you will be able to play around with the toolbar up here to see the different things that you can add. You can see we also had an, a place to add images right here. Um, we can look at the image gallery for the entire document. We could delete the image by clicking on the trash can. We could share the note. So if we click on the share feature, we could share it to our Facebook account, our Twitter account. We could send it as an email or as a link to somebody. If we click on info, you're going to see some more information about this note. We could change the title here. We could specify a location where either the note was taken or where the project is going to take place. We could specify a default URL. Uh, we can have multiple authors. There's just so much information that you can put into your notes here in Evernote. It's incredible. We can add tags to the note. So we could call this project. We could add a project tag. And we could also add a business tag. So we have a couple tags on our note. Um, so you guys can definitely play around with this top toolbar when you're in a note and you're composing a note. But I wanna start talking a little bit more about organizing our notes. I know I mentioned it briefly earlier, but we've got a little bit more uh, information on how to use Evernote now. So let's talk about organization and that sort of thing. You'll notice that right now, when I created this initial note, we're in the all notes section. So all my notes are just stacking upon each other. And I had two notes that I created earlier, conference call, grocery list, and now we created our new project requirements list. Now, I also created a notebook for conference calls. So a notebook is a place where we can group all of our notes together. So I now have a new project requirements list. It isn't a conference call, it is related to business, but business I created as a stack of notebooks. So you can see there's a hierarchy here. You have your note, 
then you have a notebook, which is a group of notes, and then you have what's called a stack, which is a group of notebooks. So I've got a business stack, I've got a notebook called conference calls, but I'm creating a new project. So I wanna create a notebook called projects. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the notebooks section over here on the right, or left of my screen. I'm going to click on the drop down menu and I'm going to click new notebook. And we'll just call this one projects. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to save that. And now that I have my new project requirements list down here in the all notes section, I could click and I could drag this note over to the project's notebook. Now notice it still shows up here because I'm in the all notes section, but if I now click on projects, it's only going to show me the notes within that notebook. Now at the same time, projects is part of my business. So I can go ahead and I could drag projects into the business stack, which I'll show you how to create in a second here. And you'll notice that now I could click on business and I could see all of my notes that are associated with business or I could drill down a little bit and see all of my notes that are for conference calls or specifically for projects. At the same time, in my all notes section, I have this grocery list note that I created. We have our default Anson Alex 2014's notebook here, but I want a notebook specifically for personal, or actually a stack. We've already created a notebook. We created the project notebook. Let's go ahead and create a stack now. To create a stack here in Evernote, we actually need a notebook first to put into that stack. So I'm going to create a notebook called grocery lists. So I can put all of my grocery list notes inside of that notebook. So I'm gonna go up to the top left of my screen to the notebook section. We're gonna create a new notebook and we'll call it groceries. So now we've just got our notebook and now we're going to create a stack called personal to put all of my personal notebooks inside. So I can just click to at the drop down menu to the right of the groceries notebook and we'll go ahead and we'll go down to add to stack. We don't want it to add it to business, we wanna create a new stack. So we'll just go ahead and we'll call this personal. We can save that and now you'll notice that I could probably even delete this Ants and Alex 2014's notebook, but before I do that, I need to move this grocery list out of here. So I'm just going to click and drag the grocery list to the groceries notebook. Now it's in there, now I can go up here to the Ants and Alex 2014's notebook, and I can delete it. And you'll see that over here on the left, my Evernote's very organized. I have two stacks. I have a business stack, which has two notebooks in it, the conference calls and the projects, and then a personal stack, which right now only has one notebook in it. But again, as time goes on, we can add more and more notebooks to that stack. <clears throat> so you can see how Evernote makes it really easy to create notes with bulleted lists, with check boxes, and then organize them into stacks and notebooks so that you can really manage your life a little bit easier and hopefully your business. I use Evernote mainly for my business. Like I said, I was using Apple Notes along with Google Drive, Google Docs, but I've moved all of my notes over to Evernote. When I have a conference call, I type it right in on Evernote. If I'm in front of a computer, I can do it with the computer. If I don't have a computer, I can do it on my iPhone or my iPad. So Evernote travels with me wherever I go. Uh, the one last thing I wanna show you in this tutorial is that that we can add shortcuts up here to the top. So let's say I'm accessing this projects notebook a lot and I don't wanna to have to drop down these menus to access it. I can just drag it up here to the shortcuts section and you'll see that projects is now there. I could even put a specific note up in the shortcuts section. So let's say I'm working on a project and it's really important, it's this new project requirements list. I could drag this actual note up here to the shortcuts section and there it is. Alternatively, I could also add tags to that section. So you notice as we created tags for one of our notes down here, they came up in the bottom, so I could drag one of these tags up here to the shortcuts section as well. So this is for your most used either notebooks, stacks, or notes. You can drag them up there for easy access. And again, if you have trouble finding something, you can always click on the all notes section. All of them are going to appear. And then up here at the top, we also have a search feature. So you can go ahead and search through all of your notes. If you are a, are a premium user, you'll notice that it actually searches the information within a note as well. But for us, it does search the name of a note. If I go ahead and type grocery up here, you'll notice that my grocery list pops up. So 
This is definitely a great, great tool. Evernote, again, I'm going to be coming out with an iOS tutorial for sure, probably a Windows and Mac version as well, depending on the feedback. If you all would like to know certain things about Evernote, go ahead and let me know in the comments section. I'll try and post videos for that as well. As the app changes here throughout the rest of 2013 and into 2014, and as I find new cool features here in Evernote, I am going to continue to update this series with additional information. So definitely don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. That's all I have for now. It's Anson from AnsonAlex.com.